Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. Welcome back to Coronavirus Central. Yeah, well, this is gonna be a what I eat in a day video. And for once, I don't have to feel bad about the fact that I'm not gonna leave the house because, um, coronavirus. Anyway, we're starting really late. It's already like past one o'clock because we spent the entire morning meal planning and grocery shopping so that we don't have to go to the grocery store for hopefully another week and a half or so. So I wanted to start out with a uh, grocery haul. Also right now we're drinking some of this Starbucks, van uh, no it's not vanilla, it's just a regular almond milk cafe latte. It was on clearance at King Supers, it was $2.50. How much is it usually? I think it's like $5 usually. Quite delicious. It really is good. This is really all I'm running on right now. I also had an Abe's chocolate chip mini muffin. She had half, I had the other half. Delicious. <laughs> so luckily there wasn't that much competition for produce. Uh, so I stocked up on a lot of that. I'm gonna make uh, some healthy nachos tonight with like eggplant, potato cheese. That's why I have an eggplant. So a lot of that is for this recipe. Avocados for guac. This for pico, more garlic, because I love garlic. Limes for the pico and the guac. Lettuce, iceberg lettuce. I got some bok choy for stir fry later this week. Scallions, lots of citrus to uh, hopefully bolster our immune systems. Onion to have onion. I'm gonna try to make like a walnut cauliflower taco meat tonight. So you'll see that later on in the video. Got lots of greens to put into our smoothies, some salsa. <sighs> There's a whole other side, baby. Yep. So, Eric got a bunch of frozen fruit to make smoothies. I'm not really a fruit smoothie person, as you may know. Cashews, I wanted roasted cashews to put in that um, stir fry that I mentioned earlier. Oh, along with this baby corn. I love baby corn. Got some bread, some chickpeas. I think I'm gonna make chickpea salad today as well. Just to meal prep that for a couple days. Almond breeze for smoothies, some more olive oil because it was four dollars off. Sauerkraut because next week is St. Patty's Day and I want to make Rubens. Black olives for the nachos. This, thanks babe, this is for, uh, I want to make some jackfruit tacos later this week. Tofu pups, <laughs> oh yeah this is like our protein section. So I got tofu pups just because I wanted them. We have extra sauerkraut, so... Yeah, Beyond Beef and Beyond Sausage was on sale at our King Super, so I just bought some. Got some chicken strips, lots of tofu. This is for the uh, Rubens next week. All the dry pasta was pretty much picked over, but uh, I did get lots of stir-fry noodles. This is like the pre-cooked kind. All of the beans were taken except for lima beans. Mm. So we got some of these. I was gonna buy dry beans, but they just had lima beans. Uh, that's everything. Wow, it felt like we were at the store for much, much longer. We were at the store for like two hours. That's how we spent our morning. People are wilding out there. It was crazy. We went to the King Supers and the line was like all around the perimeter of the store. Luckily, we just had a few items we needed to pick up. We got most of it at Sprouts. So we were able to just kind of breeze through with the self-checkout, but it was crazy. Hope you guys are staying safe. Wash your hands. So we're gonna do a lot of uh, cooking today because what else is there to do? We're gonna do a lot of music too. And a lot of video games, maybe. So I was procrastinating yesterday and I ended up deep cleaning my kitchen, including the fridge. So before I put all the groceries away, I just wanted to show you really quickly. It is immaculate. Got all my produce. I did some prep for the produce. Like I cut the cauliflower and some broccoli into florets. Um, and put it in Tupperware, so hopefully it'll stay nice and fresh. Got some Brussels sprouts back there. Um, we're gonna have obviously a lot more to put in here in a moment. And I also made this little list. We've got like a stick-on whiteboard on our fridge. Made a list of all the produce we have, just cause sometimes, you know, things get kind of jumbled up in the drawers and then you end up forgetting what produce you have and then later on you clean it and you find like rotten onions in the very back, so. Kind of helps us avoid that. Yeah, super helpful. Also, I'm not sure if I've ever shown this in a video. I've never given like a kitchen tour. Let me know down below if you'd be interested in that. Um, but I've already got tons of like dried goods, dried beans and grains, and I've got a bunch of rice in our pantry as well and dried pasta. Yeah, this entire cabin is pretty much filled with like pasta and beans and breadcrumbs and the like, so. 
we won't be running out of food anytime soon. So before I get into making our first meal, which I think technically too late to call it breakfast, maybe even a little late to call it lunch at this point, um, I want to show you something really cute. We're babysitting Eric's mom's dog. Her name's Yo-Yo. She's a tiny little adorable angel. <laughs> Hello, baby. Yo-Yo. Are you the cuddliest little baby? <laughs> Hello. She likes to burrow. Look at her tiny little body. <laughs> Okay, I'll let you sleep again. Here, I wrap you back up. <laughs> I wrap you back up. Okay, so for our first meal, I thought we would make a batch of chickpea salad, which will hopefully last us a couple of days. So here I've got a pouch of cooked chickpeas. I tried to buy, or I wanted to buy, some dried chickpeas that I could make in the Instant Pot, but I think, as I mentioned before, all of the dried beans were sold out. So. We're using these. I'm gonna mash them up. And then over here, I have finely diced a couple of different ingredients. I've got celery. I usually add quite a lot of celery. To just kind of bulk it up, make it last longer. And then I've got some green onions that I finely diced. And then a couple of dill pickles that I chopped up. I like adding lots of pickles to any like chicken salad, egg salad, tuna salad, tuna salad. These chickpeas are actually a little hard from this brand. It's not my favorite. Usually when I cook chickpeas from scratch, I make sure they're like really soft. That's just how I prefer to eat them. And I find I digest them better that way as well. I'm gonna add in all of this good stuff. And to glue everything together, I've got some mayo, but I've also got some of this plant-based sour cream. It's just a little bit lighter than the mayo. This is like predominantly oil. This is, I think, mostly coconut. It's the one by Simple Truth. I was gonna cut it in the mayo, cut the mayo instead with plain yogurt, but then I noticed the soy yogurt that I have is like slightly sweetened, so I think that would be weird. So I'm just gonna be using the sour cream and some mayo, just eyeballing it. Maybe a tablespoon or two of each. Then we can go up from there. I know some people, if they're trying to make this like super healthy, instead of using mayo or vegan sour cream, they'll just mash up an avocado and put it in there. I think that would be good if you're gonna if you're planning to eat it mostly that day. I don't really like having leftover cut avocado personally. It just oxidizes and Kind of tastes funny, but you know, you do you. I also like to add a little bit of mustard to all of my like mayo-based salads. I would usually use Dijon, but we're out. So just regular yellow mustard. I am also gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to make it slightly more um, savory. I have this one by Wan Ja Shan. I got this at Sprouts. I usually buy the Annie's because it's also, this one's vegan friendly. The Annie's Worcestershire sauce is vegan friendly as well. I usually buy that one. I wanted to mix it up and this one is super thin. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying this one, but I still have to use it up. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of onion powder again to just kind of boost the savory element a little bit. Some garlic powder, a couple of red chili flakes in here. as well as some freshly ground, <laughs> freshly ground black pepper. Is that everything? Oh, I have some fresh dill as well. I made Mediterranean food. I made tzatziki a couple videos back and I still have some dill left over from that. I'll probably just use the rest of the rest of this today. Fresh dill just smells so good. I think it's one of my favorite herbs. I need to try to grow dill this spring. All right, so we'll start with that. I've got a lemon here. I'm gonna hold off on adding any lemon juice for the time being, because I don't know how sour the mustard and the dill pickles will make it. It looks a little dry, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of the sour cream in here. 
Give it a little taste. Mmm. I think it's fine as it is. I'm not going to add any lemon. So I actually threw the salad into the food processor and pulsed it a little bit just because I thought the chickpeas were overcooked. So I kind of wanted to break it up a little bit more. I also ended up adding about like a third of a cup of raw sunflower seeds and pulsing it in there just to add a little bit more protein. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna transfer it into this. So I'm building a sandwich. I've got two pieces of wheat toast. Got some tomatoes. Use some mixed greens that I um, kind of just tossed with olive oil. Olive oil back there, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna put it on there. So here's lunch, made my oh. sandwich. I just sliced up the rest of the tomato that I put in here and I drizzled it with some olive oil, got some salt and pepper on there, and then I'm gonna split this trilogy kombucha with Eric. This pup is a stage 5000 clinger. She really is. She just wants to sit on you. So what are you working on? Eric does uh, freelance music stuff. Yeah, I'm working on a theme song for a school, in, an American school in Abu Dhabi that is closed because of the coronavirus for at least four weeks. <laughs> so they're doing like a little... Um, Online classes. Yeah, and they're, right? they're going to do like a daily show for their students, so they're yeah. going to send it to uh, all their students. So they needed a theme song. So I'll just, I'll give a little A little, a little taste. taste. Yeah. Before you know, as long as we I it's mean, fun. I'm not sure if it quite equals the uh, grandeur of your Baby Shark cover, but oh, you know, it's yes. up there. It's up there. I'm going to take a little pause in my workday and practice some piano. I mentioned a couple vlogs back and I included a little snippet of my piano practice that day, but I have been trying to take music really seriously lately and set aside an hour minimum. Sometimes more, if I have extra time, uh, just practicing either piano or guitar or studying music theory. I really want to become a good musician. So that's what I'm going to do now. I find if I wait until later in the day, it very rarely gets done. So I've been doing what I can to actually schedule it in and make it a priority. Kind of in the same topic, before I go do that, I did want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. They're an online learning community. I've worked with them a couple times in the past because I've been taking courses from them for a few years now, and they offer courses in all sorts of creative topics, everything from music, design, business, marketing. I've learned a ton about digital photography and editing in Lightroom and Photoshop and Premiere Pro. It's really great because it allows you to learn at your own pace whenever it works for your schedule best. So a course that I've been taking lately it's a Skillshare original course. It's called Music Theory, Exploring Sound, Rhythm, and Melody on the MIDI Grid. So it's taught by Fernando Arruda. He's an actual music producer. And on top of learning just how to play instruments and understand music theory, I've been kind of gradually trying to learn how to make digital music. I bought Logic a couple months back and uh, there's definitely a learning curve there, but this course has been really helping me. I really like that the course is super comprehensive, so it delves into some pretty complex topics, but because the lessons are so short, they're really easy to digest and easy to watch back, and there's a lot of visual examples. I'm definitely a visual learner. It's been a really good format for me, and I think Skillshare is also great because it's very affordable. I actually registered at my local community college uh, a few months back. I was looking into taking a music theory course there in person, and it would have been like around $500 as a three unit course. So I'm really grateful for options like Skillshare that make it more affordable and accessible. So if you are interested in learning and exploring your creativity more, Skillshare is now offering two free months of premium membership to the first 500 people who click on the link down below and sign up. And after that, it's only about $10 a month. So go ahead and check that out. And if you do choose to sign up for free, let me know what courses you're most looking forward to taking. So with that, I'm gonna go do some practice and check back in with you soon. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I just got back from a run. I recently started training for a 10K. They hold up like a really popular 10K in Boulder every springtime. Uh, although who knows, you know, at this point if they're gonna cancel it in light of all the coronavirus stuff, but I'll probably end up training for a 10K even if they do cancel it. 
So uh, last year I signed up for it, but then I ended up getting sick in the weeks leading up to it, so I wasn't able to train as much as I wanted to. So I ended up walking a lot of it. This year, if all goes well, I'd like to try to run the entire thing. I'm not like aiming for a super fast time or anything. I'm not really a... I don't identify as a runner. I just go through seasons where I like running. I'm using a free app. It's the Couch to 10K app. Um, and I think like years ago, maybe in 20, mid-2018, I talked about finishing the Couch to 5K program. So now I'm using the 10K version and I'm just starting like a little past the halfway point since I don't need to start at the beginning. Yeah, today's was not too challenging. I'm kind of easing back into it because I haven't run in a while. And I'm gonna go make a smoothie now, just like a green protein smoothie. I'm gonna put a big handful of spinach in it just to get in some greens. I'm not... Um, gonna make like a full-on lunch now just because since we started the day so late we started eating so late if I made a proper lunch now I don't think I'd be hungry for dinner till like 10 p.m. and uh, I have exciting dinner plans and I want to save room for them I'm gonna make some like healthy nachos okay people we're both gonna make smoothies different smoothies we both have wildly different smoothie preferences you go first me go first yeah hmm. Okay, um, so I have some of this Forager blueberry, drinkable blueberry yogurt. Um, I don't love it that much by itself, so I'm gonna try to throw it into the smoothie. But I'm gonna kind of do like a, a fruity kind of, can I have some of that almond milk too? Mm -hmm. We just got this uh, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Oh. Almond breeze. Yeah, I have to use, I have to make an unnecessarily large smoothie because I'm using the unnecessarily large, uh... Pitcher? Yes. It's not unnecessarily large. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do a few sprigs of banana. Sprigs? A few sprigs of frozen banana. That's probably like half a banana. Can we hit me with some of that? Oh, you're going to put greens in? Yeah, because you chastise wow, me. Wow, look at you. I can't uh... open this. <laughs> look at this tiny hole. <laughs> How am I supposed to fit my hand in here? You're supposed to have me do it. I'm supposed to be a smaller person. All right, a little bit of mango. Should have opened these bags of fruit before we started the video. You struggling? Oh. Oh. Well, I ripped the whole thing open. What is that? Nice peaches? Peach? I didn't even know you like peaches. I like everything. Oh yeah, you have bought peaches. Yeah. Some peaches. Do you need help? Yes. He's wounded, people. He just had. That's not why I can't open it, though. Breast surgery. I didn't have breast surgery. Actually, I kind of did. <laughs> they know, right? We talked about it. Yeah, our, well, yeah. he got a... New people tune in every time. He, uh... I got my pacemaker replaced. So it's... It's it's right here. It's, uh... So it, it is surgery on my breast <laughs> area. But it's not like I had a mastectomy or something. Uh-oh. I didn't do the right thing. <laughs> I mean, I ripped one of them completely open, it's fine. Okay, we'll transfer it to Tupperware. Alright, a little bit of blueberries. Ooh, you know what else we have? What? I'm just gonna throw everything we have in here. Well, some strawberries. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five kinds of fruits, some spinach, and a little bit of liquid. I need some pepperoni. I got cocoa powder all over me. Sorry, baby. All right, well, I'm putting almond milk, I, um, peanut butter powder, spinach, cocoa powder. I, I'm feeling something chocolate peanut buttery right now. Mm. And then I put in some of this Vivo Perform salted maca caramel protein. Oh, wait, I didn't put protein powder in mine. Oh, yeah? Are you going to use the vanilla? Yeah. All right. I think that's the right place for this, right? I, I would agree. I always have a link in my description box if you want to get a discount on anything from Vivo. All of their packaging is home compostable now too, which is really? cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. They have a chocolate flavor, but I don't have any right now, which is why I'm adding cocoa powder separately. Um, that protein's really good. I am not sponsored by them. This is not my channel. Yeah. And I can say wholeheartedly that it's good. It doesn't like bloat you. I'm assuming that's because it's raw. And it has like BCAAs in it. It has other stuff in it, not just protein. Who's going first? You can go, go first. first. I, I want to see you blend this. All right. Shall we? Mm-hmm. 
Likelihood that actually fits in this mason jar. You know, I truly don't know. <laughs> Is it too thick? I don't know. It smells great. Smell it. Hmm. Blueberry. It smells like yogurt. You didn't have that much either. It's a disgusting... Oh, that was an entire strawberry. <laughs> Ooh, it fits perfectly. I love when that happens. That's a huge smoothie. <laughs> Can we eat dinner at 9 o'clock? Uh, maybe. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Is it great? It's really good. Yeah. Yeah? I didn't put any ice in mine because I like my smoothies to be kind of thin. So then I can just chug them. I never use the smoothie function. Wait, can I try yours? Yeah. Mmm. It tastes very creamy. Mmm. It's nice. Mm, I like that. Okay. Here's mine. Significantly more watery. Can I get a can I get a, a zoom on the <laughs> mm. it, you know, the mixture of the brown and the spinach green really is unappealing. <laughs> I would usually put coffee in this, like powdered coffee in this too, but it's too late in the day for that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I made her laugh, people! I made her laugh! She's gonna spit it out, here it comes! Here it comes! <laughs> She punched me. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> totally unnecessary. I, I'm not the one who spit it That's out. It's a waste of gains, okay? Anyway, I'm not going to pour this into a cup because who needs more dishes? <laughs> Are you, am I done? Okay. <laughs> okay, it's another day. I'm now going to watch the footage back of all of the different components that I made for the healthy nachos and try to explain all the steps. So first off, we made baked tortilla chips. We just take corn tortillas, cut them into wedges, brush them with a little bit of olive oil, little sprinkle of salt, bake them for about 20-ish minutes in a 350 degree oven till they're light golden brown. I made a cauliflower walnut taco meat, quote unquote, and I just riced some cauliflower. I had soaked some raw walnuts for most of the day and I gave those a couple pulses in the food processor till they were crumbly. Then in the food processor, I mixed together a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. I also put in a few of the chipotle peppers that come in the can with the adobo sauce. A couple of those peppers and uh, a little splash of the sauce from that can. And uh, about half of an onion, I pulsed that all together to make kind of a seasoning paste. I sauteed that mixture in a little bit of olive oil in the wok just to kind of uh, caramelize the sugars in the tomato slightly before adding in the cauliflower and the walnut mixture. I have a big container of just regular taco seasoning, the kind that has a little bit of cornstarch in it. So I sprinkled that on there, stirred it to coat, ended up adding in a little bit of water and then just kind of steaming it for a while until the cauliflower was tender. Made some guacamole, used my regular recipe for that, which I have on my website. So just avocados, red onion, cilantro, minced jalapenos, some tomatoes, lime juice, clove of fresh garlic, and then salt and pepper. A little dash of hot sauce usually. I wanted to make an eggplant queso, which I did a couple of years back in a nacho video that I made at my old place back in the Bay Area. That recipe I got from the Minimalist Baker blog, I believe. This one I was just kind of winging it kind of using the measurements for my cashew potato cheese that's on my website, but I was just substituting in eggplant for much of the cashews to make it a little bit lighter. So I boiled the eggplant with a chopped up peeled potato and then one medium carrot that I had chopped up as well. I drained my eggplant potato carrot mixture and added it to my blender with some unsweetened plain soy milk some lemon juice. I use a tablespoon of oil, but you can make this oil free if you want. I just think having a little bit of fat in there improves the texture. Onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of smoked paprika, some cumin, good amount of nutritional yeast for that cheesy flavor, and then I blended it all up. I ended up also adding in some miso paste. I gave it a taste and wanted to make it a bit more savory, so I added some white miso paste, a little bit more nooch, 
And then some of the brine from a can or a jar rather of nacho jalapenos. That I think is everything. And then I'm gonna explain how we uh, assembled it all. We just completed a meal prep for the ages. Tons of stuff. We're gonna have leftovers for sure. Lots of shredded iceberg lettuce, some minced red onion, our guac, jalapenos, salsa, slice some olives put on top. Our cheese sauce, which is right here, is super healthy, so I thought I would melt a little bit of Daya on the chips as well. Then we've got, these are chili beans that are already spiced, right? Mm -hmm. They've got chili spices in them. I add cayenne to make it a little spicier. You added cayenne? Just a little bit. All right. Our baked chips, uh, lots of steam on the lens, and our cauliflower, walnuts, adobo, onion taco meat mixture, which I'm pretty happy with. All right, we assemble. So we decided we're just gonna assemble our nachos on this tray and then we're gonna share them. We're just both gonna eat off the same tray. So we're gonna do half nachos and then half like a nacho salad, if you will, you'll mm -hmm. see. Um, but we're gonna start out by putting some of the warm ingredients on the chips and then kind of putting it into a super hot oven just to heat everything up because some things have been Sitting. Go for it, baby. I'm gonna do a little... That. <laughs> Great. Nice. How's that looking? It's great. How's that? Great. One, one, one handful? Beautiful. Ow. Okay, so we're gonna throw this in the oven, melt the daya, and then top it with all of the, some of the beans and the cold ingredients. I cranked the oven all the way up to 500, so should only be in there just a little while. And that is it for this What I Eat In A Day video. It's a very long vlog. I want to make a couple more of these since we're all under quarantine and probably watching a little bit more YouTube than we typically do. I actually just started uh, Westworld season three yesterday. I'm very excited. Leave a comment down below. What shows have you been binging lately? I feel like this is a great opportunity to do that without feeling guilty about it. Although I've also been pretty productive. Testing a lot of recipes, working on a little cookbook that uh, I'll probably share more information about soon. I hope you're doing well. I'll see you soon. Bye.